Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Sparkle English where I teach you how to improve your level of English. This is the next lesson in my English Writing Essentials series. In this series, I teach you to improve your writing skills by teaching you about how to correctly use punctuation and about common punctuation errors. In today's video, I'm going to teach you about comma splices. So what is a comma splice? A comma splice is when two independent clauses are incorrectly joined by a comma to make one sentence. So a comma splice is an error. It is not a good thing. But first we need to know what is an independent clause so we can avoid making this mistake. An independent clause is a clause that can stand alone as a sentence and expresses a complete thought. So for example, I am really tired today. This is an independent clause. It is a complete sentence that expresses a complete thought. However, if we have the sentence, I'm really tired today because I couldn't sleep last night, this here would be an independent clause because that can be a sentence that stands alone. But because I couldn't sleep last night, that would be a dependent clause. If you went up to someone and you said, because I couldn't sleep last night, that doesn't express a complete thought. That is not a complete sentence. It doesn't really make sense. This dependent clause needs the independent clause in order to make sense. So that is what an independent clause is. So going back to a comma splice, a comma splice happens when two independent clauses are incorrectly joined by a comma to make one sentence. So if we look here, I am really tired today. I don't want to go to work. This here is a comma splice. I am really tired today is an independent clause. That functions as a complete sentence. And I don't want to go to work is also an independent clause. It also functions as a complete sentence. And a comma is not strong enough to connect these two sentences together. We need something stronger. So what can we do to fix this comma splice? There are three different ways that we can fix this. The first one is to add a conjunction, such as and, or, but, or so. I am really tired today. I don't want to go to work. That is incorrect as it is with a comma splice. To correct it, we can add a conjunction. For example, I am really tired today, comma, and I don't want to go to work. We could also say, I am really tired today, comma, so I don't want to go to work. Because these are two independent clauses, we still will use a comma, but we also have to use a conjunction because the comma alone is not strong enough to glue together or link together two independent clauses. So this is the first way that you can fix a comma splice, by keeping the comma and adding a conjunction. And if you want a full video on all the ways we use a comma, make sure to click on the link in the description below to view my video on comma rules. Now let's look at the next method to fix a comma splice. We can change the comma to a semicolon. So, I am really tired today, semicolon, I don't want to go to work. While a comma is not strong enough to connect two independent clauses, a semicolon is strong enough. But one thing to know about using a semicolon, only use a semicolon to link two independent clauses that are closely related in thought. So for example, if we had my mom's name is Lauren, let's go eat pizza, my mom's name is Lauren is an independent clause, it's a complete sentence, and let's go eat pizza is also a complete sentence. But a semicolon does not work here because these are not related. These are two completely separate thoughts that aren't related at all. However, if we had, I'm hungry, semicolon, let's go eat pizza, 
In this case, you could use a semicolon because these are connected. Let's go eat pizza builds off of I'm hungry. It's connected. One thing I want to note is you'll see that with let's, we do not capitalize the L because it's still a part of this sentence. So we change the comma to a semicolon and we keep this as lowercase, as not capitalized, unless it's a proper noun. For example, a name, or as you can see here in this example, I don't want to go to work. We always capitalize I, so in this case, it would be capitalized. But any word that you don't normally capitalize, you would keep as lowercase after a semicolon. I also have a video on how to use semicolons, which I will link to in the description below. Now, the third way to fix a comma splice is simple. Make two separate sentences. So, I am really tired today, period. And then we would capitalize the next letter. In this case, I is always capitalized. I am really tired today, period. I don't want to go to work, period. So this is perfectly fine to do to fix a comma splice, especially if the sentences are quite long. So let's look at some more comma splice examples. Tomatoes aren't actually vegetables. They are fruit. I don't like most seafood. I like sushi. She can't go out tonight. She has to study for her exam tomorrow. I go to the gym every day. What are you doing tomorrow? It's raining. We should go to the beach another day. So we're going to use the methods we just learned to correct these comma splices. In the first one, tomatoes aren't actually vegetables. They are fruit. Here, I'm going to add a semicolon. So I'm just going to add dot, and now we have a semicolon. We're not going to change anything else. These two sentences are related. They're closely related. So we're going to just add a semicolon. And the next one, I don't like most seafood. I like sushi. In this one, I'm going to add a conjunction. Again, there are several ways to fix comma splices, but in this one, I think the conjunction but would work. I don't like most seafood, but I like sushi. And remember, we are keeping the comma because when we connect two independent clauses with a conjunction, we have the comma before the conjunction. Let's look at number three. She can't go out tonight. She has to study for her exam tomorrow. In this case, I'm going to add a semicolon. Again, you could just make this into two separate sentences as well. Number four, I go to the gym every day. What are you doing tomorrow? Now, in this case, these are two independent clauses, but they're not really connected. So I'm not going to use a semicolon. I'm just going to add a period, change the comma to a period, and capitalize what. So we have two separate sentences. And in the last one, it's raining. We should go to the beach another day. In this one, I'm going to keep the comma and add the conjunction so. It's raining, so we should go to the beach another day. Okay, so remember that a comma alone is not strong enough to connect two independent clauses. A comma can either connect it with a conjunction like and, but, so, or, and come before the conjunction, or we can use a semicolon to connect two independent clauses, or we can just change the comma to a period and then capitalize the beginning of the next sentence. So now let's do some practice together. I'm going to read through all of these sentences. So I want you to identify in each of these examples if these are two independent clauses or not, and if we need to change anything in the sentences. So first I'm going to read through them, and then we will correct them together. Number one, I don't like science class. The teacher is boring. Number two, Rodrigo loves salty snacks but Mario prefers sweets. Number three, let's go to the beach. It's a beautiful sunny day. Number four, 
My new boyfriend is a lawyer. He is really successful. Number five. Carmen speaks Italian, French, and Spanish. Number six. She is really fun. I want to be her friend. So take some time and see if you can identify any comma splices in these sentences. So let's correct them together. Number one. I don't like science class. The teacher is boring. This is a comma splice. We have to correct number one. Here, I don't like science class. This is an independent clause. The teacher is boring. That is also an independent clause. And these are related. So in this case, we're just going to add a semicolon. Change the comma into a semicolon. Again, you could make this into two separate sentences as well. Number two, Rodrigo loves salty snacks, but Mario prefers sweets. This is correct. This is not a comma splice because we have a comma, but after the comma, we have a conjunction. So this is a perfectly correct sentence as it is. Number three, let's go to the beach. It's a beautiful sunny day. This is a comma splice. Let's go to the beach is a complete sentence. It is an independent clause. It's a beautiful sunny day is also an independent clause. So remember, the comma is not strong enough to connect these. We need to change this to a semicolon because these sentences are closely related. Or we could turn this into two sentences as well. Number four, my new boyfriend is a lawyer. He is really successful. This is not a comma splice. We have used a semicolon correctly to connect two sentences that are closely related. So that is already correct. Number five, Carmen speaks Italian, French, and Spanish. In this case, we don't have two, senten two complete sentences. We have correctly used commas in this sentence because we have a list, Italian, French, and Spanish, and this is just one complete independent clause. So there is no comma splice here. This is correct as it is. And in the last one, she is really fun. I want to be her friend. In this one, we have two independent clauses that are connected by a comma. So this is a comma splice. We need to fix this. We can change this into a semicolon or we could add a conjunction. I'm going to add so. She is really fun. So I want to be her friend. You could also add a semicolon or change this into two sentences. It's up to you. Okay, so that is it for comma splices and how to fix them. Once you can identify an independent clause, it's really easy to identify whether or not there is a comma splice. If you see two independent clauses and they're connected by a comma, then that is a comma splice. And you can use any of the three methods we just discussed to fix comma splices. Thank you guys again for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Sparkle English for more videos just like this one so you can improve your level of English. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next lesson.